Hi everybody, check out the lap knot, a Beckett hitch variation. Okay, so Beckett hitch. As my viewers probably know, the Beckett hitch, you go through the continuous loop on your hammock, and then you go around it and you pull the bite through. So one of the things with the Beckett hitch on thinner webbing, slippery webbing, the main lead line right here that goes to the tree passes first through a loop of Dyneema. So there ends up being rubbing and fraying sometimes right here on the webbing and right here on the, the Dyneema loop. And it comes from when the knot first starts to cinch up. As these coils close up, there's direct rubbing right here. And that, that first closing up of these coils can also lead to a little bit of slip where you get in your hammock and there, there's, it starts to ratchet down a little bit. So here is the lap knot. This is a knot that is being called right now in the hammock forums, a bunch of different names, but it's really similar to the Becca hitch. So instead of going through the continuous loop, right here, going through it first and then going around it, we're going to go around the continuous loop first. We're going to go around the continuous loop completely one time. And, and from there, let me start over to give you guys a better visual. So I'm going around my continuous loop one full time, like that. And from there, then I'm going to take the bite, but I'm passing the bite through what's left of the continuous loop. So as you can see, I've gone around the continuous loop once, one complete time, and then I'm going to go a bite through here. So I'm not going to go, I'm not going to take the bite and do it right here. I'm going to come all the way around and do it. So one thing about this knot, it's easy at this point to actually just go through the loop here, but you want to maintain that full circle around and take your bite and go through what's left of the continuous loop here and then pull it tight. So now we have something very similar to the Beckett hitch. We've gone around the continuous loop once and then we have the bite. But with this lap knot, the main lead line right here passes through a loop of itself first so there's less friction and there's a quicker tightening of the knot and the amsteel loop right here that's left over has the bite through it so this knot will tighten up quicker and be slightly easier to untie and when we untie this we hold the main line and then we hold the, what's left of the line and that actually gives leverage and starts to pull that loop of amsteel out too so it will untie slightly easier. However, watch what happens when I untie it. It comes apart. So there's one disadvantage to that lap knot versus the Becca hitch. It comes apart when you untie it. With the Becca hitch, when I take it apart, I still have this. I still have control over my hammock with one hand. One way to make the lap knot easier to tie is to first get your loop in your webbing like this, that full loop around like that, and then go and grab your continuous loop and pull it through that loop. And then you can come around and finish by pulling the bite through. So you can actually put that loop, that loop where you would sit there and hold your continuous loop and then try to wrap the webbing around. What you can do is be before you're ready to do that, is flip that full loop and you want to do a full loop like this too like one one full loop around with the strand hanging off to one side and then you can go and grab your hammock continuous loop and and pull it up through and finish the knot another variation you can do of this lap knot start off like you're doing the becca hitch go through your continuous loop and then instead of just finishing off with the becca hitch like you would where you would just go around it and pull that bite through you can do like what you would do with the lap knot and go around one full time like this one full time and then go through the bite which actually creates a double becca hitch but if you start using the lap knot you can quickly go from the double becca hitch back and forth and so now with with what I've done just there, what I showed you, the main line, again, passes through a loop of itself first, so it's going to cinch up quicker and the friction is going to be less. The Amstel loop here is managing the bite, so it'll be easier to untie because when you pull, 
pull these two, it's also leveraging this little piece out. And your main line goes through a loop of itself. So that was the lap knot. If you want a knot that's going to work a little bit better and you're looking at all these things called the double death knot or the reef hitch or slip larch set or whatever, uh, the lap knot is the way to go. Um, the reef hitch that those guys are using, they're starting off like a Becca hitch and then they're going around the continuous loop and just coming back up through it with a bite. So as you can see, that kind of looks like a lark head too, but it's also a reef hitch. It's also the same configuration as a square knot, but that's what they're doing. And this, this in my experience, does not work good with thin webbing, but it does actually work good with polyester webbing or anything that's about four grams a foot or heavier. So that's the that's the reef hitch that they're using, and that lap knot and variations of it are I think what they're calling the double death knot or whatever. All right, thanks for watching. That was the lap knot.